Welcome, welcome, I am your World Heavyweight Champion of the world, and we are here playing Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, a game so nice, I bought it thrice! Actually, that's not true, I actually have four copies of the game, and I also bought it off of uh, PSN. So, Chris, stop. this is basically my favorite PS1 game of all time, and it is therefore the best PS1 game of all time. So if you'll allow me to uh, indulge in some fanboyism for the next few hours of this Let's Play, we're going to be in for a fun ride. Uka, Uka is free. No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. None dare to fail to bring Uka, Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice. Great, Uka, Uka, it was that infernal. Bandicoot! From deep inside my temple prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks and failed but since your bumbling has managed to set me free i am feeling generous there is still a way for us to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet and this time this time the great uka uka will make sure that you do it right with time the travel eons, my evil twin Uka Uka has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. And so, Crash Bandicoot and his friends Children, set Uka out into Uka the world. And Cortex planned to use this time twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do so. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. Alright, so I did a full Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back, which in that game you should have known that, well, okay, well, Cortex is the main villain. Now in here, we find out that Cortex is really not the main villain. It's actually Uka Uka, who's been controlling him, or at least been giving him orders this whole time. And then we get the, or he gets the help of, uh, I can't remember his name right at the moment. But basically, Crash Bandicoot 1 was very jungle-based. It was, uh, here are all these nature environments. One moment. Crash, 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 why must you always muck in my mud? Oh look, I have a mask helping me too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Yes, we will. So Crash Bandicoot 1 was basically a lot of nature environments. Here's a lot of jungles. Here are, are some snow places. Crash Bandicoot 2, very similar. A lot of jungles and, and snowy places. And also a bit of space and a bit of that. Crash Bandicoot 3 is just like, all right, so you know all of that, like, he is uh, an, an anthropomorphic animal? How about, screw all the jungle stuff, why don't we just time travel? So now with the whole idea of time travel, we actually have a lot more freedom and creativity for the developers to actually 
make some very interesting environments. And there are quite a few gameplay changes, but they don't happen yet. But so far you're seeing, it's mainly the same thing so far. Got my first bonus. Again, I don't care to jump on those, like it, it takes too long. But wait a minute, actually I think it, it might be less this time. No, I, no, I'm gonna jump on the next one. So I think in Crash 2 it was 10 times you have to jump on them, and then in Crash 3 it might be 5. So that actually might be just faster than this. What? Oh, there it is. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. Instead of 10 like in Crash 1 and 2, it is. Wait, are they in one? I don't remember. But in, instead of ten like Crash Two, it's straight up five like so in Crash Three. So during my Crash Two playthrough, I just broke them. But in this, I can actually jump on them. No, you don't. Yeah, and again, as usual, collect all the crates in the level, and you get a gem. And also make sure to remember to pick up the crystal, or else you have to play the whole level over again. Level 2, Under Pressure. So another interesting thing about, like, about Crash Bandicoot 3 for me, which I can get, I can, I can get why a lot of people wouldn't like the idea of this, but like, there's so much more variety in levels in this game. Really careful with this level. No, you don't. I just have to make sure that I'm not, I don't get too cocky with this. Come on, where is it? It's gotta be coming up soon. Alright, not yet, not yet, not yet. Kind of a slow rhythm group there, but still fine. Here we go! Yeah, I got this thing, and I'm swimming around, and I'm shooting everything. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was me being cocky. Well, look at that. Screw that up. Looks like I'm not getting the crystal on this level. Simple figure eight rhythm pattern here. Did I say the crystal or, or did I say the gem? I'm not getting the gem in this level. But you know what? I still have the compulsion to still go after every single crate. Oh, you 
some don't. And it should be the end of the level right here. Yep, 91 out of 92. All because I got too cocky. See, even in the first world, a lot of variation. Like, the first three levels, three completely different types of levels. And if you remember the, the polar bear levels from Crash 2, it's pretty much this. And I, nope, 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 I'm jumping off the edge, I'm jumping off the edge, nope, nope, I'm, I'm not gonna screw up that early. And holding R1 is run, which, unfortunately I just have the habit of holding down the run button in this level. Oh, what? No, 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 no. There we go. Pretty sure I missed the crate there, so that's why I went back for it. But I, I got it now. I'm sure I got it now. Oh, my God, that's painful. God, jeez, come on! I'm getting every crate. There we go. Oh no, no, okay, okay. Wow, okay, I, I almost forgot the pattern for that. Alright, yep, got all of them. There we go. I had to purposely die a few times there. Because I was a bit too run happy holding down the run button. But I got it. I already missed one gem. I wasn't going to miss another one. Okay, now do the crush shops, Coco. Well, fine. Be that way. She doesn't do the crush chops in this game. Now you see in this level there are two gems. There's some a weird some secrecy going on here. Tiny get crystals and bring them to Big Colosseum in Rome. Crash! Leave them for Tiny, or Crash get crushed. He thinks he can take me on. Come on. I know, look, it's the giant snowball level from Crash Bandicoot 2, except as a dinosaur. But again, as you can see, four levels. All four of them, four different types of levels. This game likes to keep you on your toes. Uh oh. Oh, I, th I think the I, I think the trench has got it for me.
There's a chance that I didn't. I'm not entirely sure. It's usually I get it. Now you see this platform, I have to unlock something later on in the game that allows me to go onto that platform to get the second gem. Yeah, bonus! Four, five. Yeah, Belly Slam's still in this. Okay, I gotta be really careful with this. I don't want to get up to the top of that. Can I just... Hmm. There we go. Didn't want to break it too much. do this. One, two, three. No, whatever, I can still do this, right? Yep, okay. <laughs> that high jump is a good fail save. I don't need every fruit. What are the chances of me getting a game over this early? None. None. Again, that's me being cocky again. Idiot. Uh. Yeah, baby! I didn't even see that coming. I kind of did. I want to cancel out of that animation just so I can jump into the fifth level right here. Look at that. All five levels in this first world are all different types of levels. Which, again, I can understand why some people are, some people are like, oh, you know, this game is... The, it, it doesn't feel all that focused and whatnot, which... I, I, I think that just makes it feel even more focused. Should I go after every single crate? Some of them are kind of far to jump for, or and, and are in weird positions. And I just got, I'm about to hit that. Yeah, I knew I, I saw it coming, and I just throw for it. I'm an idiot. There we go. I, I don't know why I held it. I don't know why I kept pressing it. I, I'm just being incredibly stupid right now. It is... And here's the time of the video where I start making up excuses. It is 4.47 AM. I'm kinda tired. 
and my attention's all over the place, and no, no, really, I'm just an idiot. See, that's how you get through it. See, what gets you is it makes you want to hesitate, and as soon as you hesitate, that's what screws you over. The faster you, you burn through it, the easier act it actually gets. And I hate this seagull so much, I hate this seagull so much, I hate this seagull so much, go away! Thank you. Hi, bomb. There we go. Seven more. Six more. Five more. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Yes! Two more. Here we go! Oh no, I'm supposed to hold it like... I'm supposed to hold it like this! That's the way a champion holds a championship title. Ow! My ear! <laughs> Alright, for the first boss battle... Tiny Tiger. Crash, Coco, store the pretty crystals. Store the pretty the crystals. In Gladiator Arena. Gladiator Arena. Oh, that's not good. And yeah, first boss battle is pretty simple. He jumps there five times and then eats. It's basically a loop of this. Jumps him jumping around and then the lion's coming out. And then now he's gonna jump. Two, three, not four, not five this time, six. The, thing, the only thing I hate about this this boss battle is it's so easy to accidentally get eaten by a friggin' lion. Two, not three, not four, not five this time, not six this time, but seven. And what do we have here? This wasn't in the previous Crash Bandicoot games. Supercharged Body Slam. For a more powerful belly flop, press the cross button to jump and then the circle button at the top of the jump. So basically a regular belly slam. Except that it's more powerful this time. Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. So one of the big things, one of the big new things here in Crash Bandicoot 3, you know, besides, you know, the change in aesthetics with the time machine and whatnot, is that after every boss battle, you unlock a a brand new power-up, making Crash Bandicoot more powerful and much more easy to control and much more versatile and whatnot in, in a wide variety of ways, well, in three, four, five different ways for every boss battle. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and that's World 1 of Crash Bandicoot 3. 
I, I was about to say Crash Bandicoot 3 Cortex Strikes Back because I'm in my mind I'm still doing a let's play of Crash Bandicoot 2 for some reason, but that's that's world one of Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. I have been your world heavyweight champion of the world, and I'll see you for world two.